All right, it is time for Dr. Carlson's brain teaser number two. And we've got a blue ball and an orange ball. And the thing here is you are going to try and have to figure out, well, it's kind of reddish orange, um, which one is going to be faster? Which one's going to win the race? Place your bets now. OK, Dr. Carlson does not condone betting. All right, so anyway, um, so you don't have enough information. But let's take a look at the setup. And you are then have to, going to have to use physics and what you know about physics to try and guess which one of these is going to win the race. OK, let's take a look at the setup. OK, so if you like the blue ball, the blue ball is the nice one. It's not trying to do anything fancy. What it's going to do, it's going to start here, and it's going to move all the way along. It's just going to move straight across. All right? So it's got, it's just going to go straight across. All right, and we're going to give them both the same amount of a push. Okay, so it's even. The orange ball, or the red ball, whichever you want to call it, it's going to move along. It's got to go downhill. Okay, and then it's got to cruise back uphill and go all the way in. All right? So you've got to figure out, well, is that good or is it bad? You know, the blue one, right, it's got a shorter path, right, because it just goes straight, right? Closest, shortest path between two points is a straight line. But the orange one, right, it's got to go down the hills, go up the hill, so like the total path it's traveling is longer. Okay, so that's something else. All right, you also have the fact that it's going to go down the hill and it's going to go uphill. There is friction in here. You can worry about that too. All kinds of things to worry about. All right, and lastly, or not, you know, not least, is Dr. Carlson trying to trick you? I don't know. Hmm? Okay, so we're going to set this up and we're going to watch what happens. Uh, make your guesses now and we'll come right back after this important announcement. The moment of truth, the orange ball, the blue ball, which one wins? Here we go. We're going. Oh, yeah! The orange one by a nose, except balls don't have noses. Sweet. All right, that was beautiful. Well, let's take a look at it again. OK, second try. Here we go. Boom! Yes, easy, the orange one every time. OK, what's going on here? So as the orange one goes downhill, it gains energy. It sacrifices potential energy from being up here and gains kinetic energy when it's down at the bottom. So, and in other words, it means it's going faster when it's on the bottom okay, than it was up the top. Now it's going to lose some energy coming back up. All right, uh, Go back up to where it was before. Okay, And so it should have about the same velocity that it had at the start. Okay, And then it'll reach the end. Meanwhile, the blue one is rolling right along, always at the constant velocity, right? Laws of motion says this is going to keep going at a constant velocity, and it hits the end. Okay? And because the orange one is moving fast in this part of the bottom, it's going to pass every time and get ahead. Now, when we get to the end, it's true that the orange ball has rolled further, okay? but it spent more time going fast than the blue one. So it's going to get to the end faster. Okay, sooner, excuse me. And the blue ball is still going steady. Uh, the orange ball is actually traveling slightly slower at the end than the blue ball. Okay? So if you look at the rerun, you can see the blue ball is slowly catching up because it actually didn't lose as much energy to friction as the orange one. And the orange one wins every time because it goes faster for part of the route and passes the blue ball. Okay? And that is the answer to this week's brain teaser.